Hi, today we will be explaining Booker Relay and its important functions. Booker Relay is a type of protection relay installed on a transformer which is actuated by oil and gas and used on medium and high voltage transformers that are oil filled. It is not used on low power rating transformers from economic point of view. So why the Booker Relay is used in transformers? Well, there must be some protective devices installed on a transformer that prevent it from the faults occurring inside the transformer. These faults include insulation failure between turns, breakdown of core of transformer, core heating, defective joints, etc. Bokul relay helps in early identification of faults inside the transformer. By analyzing the gases collected from the Bokul relay, the exact nature of the transformer internal faults can be determined and preventive maintenance can be carried out accordingly, hence helping in prevention from serious faults. Bokul relay performs two main functions to give an alarm in case of minor faults inside the transformer, to trip and isolate the transformer from rest of the system in case of major faults. Now we explain the construction and working of Bokul Zile. Bokul Zile is installed on the pipe connecting the main tank and conservator tank of the transformer. It has two floats with hangs attached. The upper float is related to the alarm function, whereas the lower float is related to the trip function of the Bokul Zile. First, we explain the working of the alarm function of the Bokul Zile. The upper float is attached with the hang in such a way that its movement towards up and down side is controlled by the oil level in the container of the Bokul Zile. A mercury switch is installed on the float in such a way that its alignment and on and off status is controlled by the position of the float. The mercury switch is connected to alarm circuit. In case of minor faults inside the transformer, such as insulation failure between turns, breakdown of core of transformer, core heating and defective joints etc. The oil present inside the transformer tank gets decomposed and gases are produced as a result. These gases move towards the conservator tank through the connecting pipe and are collected in the chamber of the Bokul Zile. As these gases move upwards, they put pressure on the oil present inside the chamber and displace an amount of oil equal to the volume of the gas. This downward displacement of oil causes the attached float to tilt, resulting in closing the mercury switch which triggers the alarm circuit. Volume of gas required to initiate alarm circuit varies from 110 cc to 250 cc depending upon the size of the relay. In most relays, it is 200 cc. These gases are collected in a special accessory of vocal relay known as gas collection device or simply GCD. GCD is installed on the side of the transformer which is easily approachable by a person on ground and is used to collect gas and oil sample from Bokul Zile comfortably. The gases are released from gas release valve on Bokul Zile. The severity of the fault is indicated by the amount of the gas whereas the nature of the fault is indicated by the color of the flame caused by the gas. Some indications are given here. When the gas is colorless and odorless, it means that there is air trapped inside the Bokul Zile that may be due to the low oil level or leaked oil. Grayish white color of the gas means that the insulation is overheated. Yellowish color of gas means decomposing of wood or cardboard insulation. Whitish color of the gas means that there is electric arcing in contact with paper, cotton and silk, whereas black color means that there is free arcing in the oil. Now we explain the working of the trip function of vocal zile. During severe major faults like oil leakages, or heating of core or winding, major insulation failure or fault in tap changer equipment, oil level in the relay and conservator falls continuously, which results in tilting the lower float downwards, causing the mercury switch to close and ultimately tripping the transformer. Similarly, in case of short circuits, such as short circuit between phases or short circuits between phase and ground, the gas generation is violent and abrupt, which causes oil surge and oil is rushed from the main tank to the conservator. This oil surge lowers the flap connected to the lower float and activates the trip circuit. The velocity of oil required to operate the trip circuit of relay varies from 65 cm per second to 150 cm per second, depending upon the size of the relay and rating of the transformer. In most Bokul relay, provision is made for adjusting the relay to operate at 65 cm per second, 100 cm per second, and 150 cm per second. Most commonly, these relays are set at 100 cm per second. In some cases, Bokul relay may be operated even without any fault inside the transformer. We call it as false operation of Bokul relay. 
The operation of buccal delay can be started without any fault in transformer. For example, when oil is added to a transformer, air can mix up with oil under the relay cover, causing a dip in oil level and resulting in false buccal delay operation. Similarly, when taking oil sample from an energized transformer, the oil level can lower down resulting in false operation of alarm circuit. Lower float can operate falsely resulting in tripping of the transformer if the oil velocity in the pipe is sufficient to trip over the float even if it's not due to internal fault. This can occur in case of external short circuits when ore currents flowing through the winding cause overheating the copper and oil and cause the oil to expand. The solution of this problem is that mechanical lock is used to lock the movement of mercury switches when oil is being added to a transformer to protect false operation of buccal delay resulting in alarm. Mechanical lock is also useful in preventing unnecessary movement of glass bulbs of mercury switches during transportation of buccal delays, hence resulting in preventing any damage to mercury switches. Next to explain the testing of buccal delay. Buccal delay is tested for its alarm and trip functions. For testing the operation of buccal delay for alarm, following procedure is adopted. Relay is pressurized with an air pump and the gas pressure is noted on the gauge at which the alarm of the buccal delay operates. The volume of the gas required to initiate alarm can be adjusted by adjusting the micro switch of the buccal delay. For testing the operation of buccal delay for trip function, the following procedure is adopted. First, the valves to the buccal delay from both the main tank and conservator are closed so that during testing, oil doesn't come to the relay. Then oil is drained from the buccal delay through the drain plug located at the bottom of the relay. First, the alarm circuit will be operated due to the oil level going down. When oil continues to be drained, the trip function will be operated. After testing, the drain plug is closed and valves from the main tank and conservator side are opened so that the relay is filled with oil again. Make sure to subscribe the channel and ask any question in the comment section.